first game on. Yeah, I was very impressed with Hendo last night and a lot of us backstage were rather nervous watching that match because we're not used to people booing Hendo. <laughs> but the way he approached the match, the way he handled the crowd and the way 42. he performed, got to applaud it. He showed how you play against a home favourite in Germany. Don't engage, just do your own thing, hey, don't celebrate, you know. and at the end, just put your arms up and say, I'm better than him. Yeah, it was really, really impressive. Jackpot, though, has returned to the winner's circle in PDC Darts this year after a, an 18-month absence, won his first title. It was in Wigan, beat Raymond Van Barneveld in the final. Said it was like travelling back in time, Jackpot. But it's not just been limited to that. He's had a couple of quarterfinals and a, a semi-final on the Euro Tour, the German Darts Championship as well. I do wonder what the rest of the season holds for Adrian now that he's back in the winner's circle. Generally, I think the sky's the limit. Uh, we're not seeing him blast people away a lot, but there are little signs that the old jackpot is there, and you've seen him get fired up and pl you know, play some really top-quality darts in spells. We're just not seeing it as often as he would like. He had a, a big average in Hildesheim when he was playing there, but stood it against Daryl Gurney and suffered the penalty. But I think even Adrian would admit that the ability of blowing everybody away is less likely now because Sick. everybody's got more talent. Possibly, but you know, if Adrian Lewis goes and averages 109, it was as he did. It was uh, Johnny Clayton, wasn't it? Where he smashed him up on the way to the title that day in Wigan. If he does that, you know, even Van Gerwen's going to struggle to live with that. He has a God given talent. Adrian Lewis. 100. Adrian Lewis, 150. What was the dart that plagued him yesterday a little bit? Just a little bit low. And he found out later in the match he just needed to hold it a little no, bit higher or throw it a bit Adrian harder. 60. And he can't make fixes on the fly, Adrian Lewis. It's one of his best qualities oh. at all. Oh, boy. What are you doing, Hendo? Adrian Maguire, 56. 60 required, 60 hit, but you're not allowed to do it like that. Well, let off a massive one for yeah, Adrian. Because that Lewis. really could have been a break of throw. I think it's John to throw first. Game on. I wonder what happened there. Did it just come out of the hand wrong? Did he go into scoring autopilot? Well, the, the way he just stood there, just did exactly the same hole. Did he think he required something else? I don't know. Maybe he thought he had 80. Doesn't matter now. Adrian pings the 56. 96. Bright side, John, is the fact that it was Adrian's throw. Yes, there is that. The other thing to make 100. note of for Big Hendo is that, all right, Adrian has won most of their games in the past. But the two that Hendo has won have both been in Germany, both on the European 100. Tour, both actually at the same tournament, the German Darts Masters. And one of them was... Oh, I tell you, sorry, I do beg your pardon. He's won one of them. That was the best tournament Six. he's had in PDC. He made the final. He was only beaten in the last leg decided by Michael Van Gerwen. Their first one was in the same tournament, although Adrian did win that. He has won a couple of times on the Pro Tour as well. So he's beaten him on the floor, he's beaten him on the stage, he knows 100. what it takes. You can see from that side cam just how still Adrian is trying to be when he throws. That little glance to the left didn't disrupt his rhythm. A bit like a basketball player dribbling but doesn't have to look at the ball. John's a little bit different, he's always on the move. Yeah, there's a... Uh a lot of moving parts with Hendo. But making him work in that visit. Leaves himself tops. Going to be 20 for tops here. Not moving. 34. And unable to go over the top 40. of that previous dart. Well, we know Hendo likes tops. This is where he finished the match last night. On a 160. He wasn't 30. missing those over the last couple of days. 40. 
Adrian's getting too many chances even at this early stage in the match. Good shot. Shot second leg, Adrian Lewis. Third leg is Adrian to throw first. 2 0 to Adrian, Eight. and you just get the feeling with Adrian. The, the thing that's most impressed me about Adrian is that he's had to go back, not to square one as such, but he's had to go back on the tour, playing everything, turning up week after week, playing pro tour stuff, going to the European qualifiers. Obviously, he did so well last year that he's now up into the seeded places. But he has had to go and do it the hard way. He's not given anything 22. anymore just because of his name and his reputation. Because he found himself in a position where he'd go and play his TV tournaments. He'd be in the Premier League and all this sort of stuff. He sacked off the European Tour pretty much for a couple of years. He was a former winner of the European Championship and wasn't even turning up to enough events to qualify. You did an interview with him for the Dart Show recently, didn't you? And what was your genuine, genuine feel not just when you were doing the interview, but when you were talking to him off camera, did you feel that he'd eaten a bit of humble pie? He'd taken that step back to where he was back in 2005, 2006. 44. That he was okay with that, maybe. I, I think he's just, he's come to terms with the fact that, yeah, he did make some mistakes. He made some poor choices, I think. Because he did just think... I'm here, I'm arrived, I'm a two-time world champion, I'm winning a major title every year, I'm making world finals. You know, there's a point where him and Gary Anderson, over a five-year period, they'd made more world finals than anybody else between the pair of them. And he just felt that this, I can, I can just coast along here, I can sit quite happily, floating around in the top eight and making major finals and earning good money and be a star of the game and I don't have to really worry about it but unfortunately it only takes something to go wrong and he, he was ill for a while oh hello tops tops oh look at this Adrian oh very nearly there was a clip on that first start and just too much of it now Hendel is going to need this not going to get there Adrian's looking good for 3-0 yeah, looking good for 3-0 without playing his best but there have been little moments in this game where Adrian Lewis has shown some class and Hendo has not been able yeah, to produce any moments Adrian. of his own yeah, going back, back to what we were saying about Adrian as well when Gary Anderson plummeted to run about 19 in the world I think it was he was still selected for the Premier League a lot of people thought that's a bit of a questionable pick that but from that point on, he really did look at his calendar and he was very smart with it. And then he started to play the best darts of his career. Well, look, Gary Anderson started playing Sick. incredibly. One of the things was he started playing some Euro Tour stuff and he started qualifying for them and, you know, doing well on them. And he was playing regularly. He was doing his practice once a week down 100. the pub with his mates. Then he was going on the tour, winning titles nearly got to double digits in a year and ended by winning the World Championship. Now, Adrian Lewis has been playing all the tour stuff hey, now. The only ones he's missed this year was when there was a, they, there was a handful of players who couldn't figure out the new computer system, so they didn't enter into the first ones. But he's tried to turn up to everything and play, and it's, it's bearing fruit. He's playing better. Six. He was knocking on the door all last year, made four finals, didn't win anything. Now he's won one. And we're starting to see little flashes of the old, utterly destructive Adrian Lewis, who scares darts players. Because he is incredible. But all the talent in the world will only get you so far without hard work. And Adrian's been putting in the hard work for a long while now. And things just, he's a lot more relaxed. And that makes him even more dangerous. 150th, 180 of the tournament. He's not happy with that dart. He's had a few like that which have kicked to the right. Six, and again. Two. Johnny Reguard, 61. Well, treble seven for tops. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, surely that's going in. And a wry look from Hendo. Well, the, the thing that I like about Adrian at the minute as well because he is so confident in his own he's always been confident in his talent but he's now at a point where yes he's put in the hard work he started to win things again he knows he's been playing well and even in the 
the second leg there, for example, where he missed at tops, missed at tens, last start in the double five. There's no panic there. He's surprised he hasn't checked this out already, but he's completely, supremely confident that he's going next dart. He doesn't panic. He knows that if he can play to his capabilities, he is a match for anybody in the world. And he includes Van Gerwen in that. And I think Van Gerwen includes him in that. Yeah, I think he does. Well, he has to, considering some of the battles they've had in the past. But I think the most impressive thing at the moment from Adrian is that when things have gone wrong, not just for him, but when people have done things against him, he's not wasting energy on negativity. 87 after 9. It's a good leg in any language. Double 18. 69. He will be back. But yeah, not wasting energy on negativity. Last week, Richie Edhouse nicked a game off him with a 1. 60 check out. Mm. And he could have easily thought, oh, well, why is this happening to me? Oh, why is it constantly happening to me? No. He took it on the chin. He moved on. He's back. He's here. Double 8. Two. Oh, yeah, disappointment for Adrian, but it's no panic station yet. Yeah? Hendo's not down to a finish. Could have been an 11 darter, this, but a, an 18 darter will win the leg for him. 41. One of the greatest Adrian things you can be as a dart player is have a bad memory. Just forget about everything that's gone, and you wait for the referee to say you require something, and you just go up and hit it just Adrian like that. Doesn't matter what happened before, Lewis. you've got the leg. In the bank, 4-1 Adrian Lewis. Game on. Henderson does have a lot of problems here. He hasn't played poorly in spots, but he hasn't been able to live with the scoring ability of Adrian Lewis. Well, look, the, the vast majority of people who ever pick up a dart and play will never achieve what Adrian Lewis has already done. He is 34 years old. His best could be yet to come. He believes that himself. And why not? And, you know, I think most darts players will say that. So, you know, John Henderson himself has said that he's probably playing better than he's ever played over the last couple of years. How many, how many countries has Adrian won a tournament in, in the PDC now? Because he's won in New Zealand. Yeah, won the Auckland Darts Masters he's in that mad final with Barney. Definitely won in Scotland and England. Yeah, he's won in Germany. He's won in Austria, Ireland. He's... Where else has he won? Never went in Vegas, did he? No, he didn't. Oh, Which is a shame, considering his nickname. Yes, exactly. And the backstory. He, got, he didn't win, but he did get the nickname in Vegas. Probably rather of the money. Nice. No, He's won in Germany multiple times, of course, because as a multiple World Cup of Darts winner, and Phil Taylor have picked up the title. On that on four occasions, 2012, 2013, 2015 and 2016. Still the possibility that we might see Hendo in the World yeah. Cup. There is, although Gary Anderson is playing midweek, I understand, in yeah. Barnsley. So that's, uh, that's big news to see him. Adrian Lewis has left a bogey number, so Hendo can take this in three or six if he chooses. 84. He's going to need another visit. Been a few of those today from Adrian, just darts pushed to the right slightly. 123. Mm -hmm. go yes, on. I'm nitpicking 20. considering the guy who's 4 1 up. I'm talking about the darts he's missing. But double five for Hendo now. Yeah, yeah that's there. It's the first leg he so needs leg in a charge that has to come on. now. Yeah. This might be where John Henderson has to break. Well, one of the Six. places. Because if Adrian Lewis is to move within a leg of victory and Hendo's forced to win all four remaining legs, that might be a little bit too much. It's not as if Adrian is, is blowing him away here. 99. But he's not having to. I'm just squinting at the screen that we're looking at at the minute. And I'm just trying to figure out how straight those darts are in the board. Because the way that they're behaving 100. at the very last 5% of the, of the throw arc, they seem to be diving. And if he does have a miss, Adrian Lewis, at the minute, it's low. Which says that, potentially, 42. he could do with some sort of change in 
the equipment well, to just level the dart out a tiny bit. It was a 95 average against James Richardson yesterday, but I thought it was a very good 95 well, average it. because James Richardson was putting him under pressure all the time and AD was just shrugging it off. Yeah. We've said all along that great dart players can throw anything. Oh, that's a beautiful visit from Hendo. Gets him back in the leg. A good setup shot here on the gate, that. There's that low dart that Paul's talking about, and he's slammed into it. See, I can't, I can't see a way, the way his darts are behaving, that he can bypass that block. He has to switch after dart one. Oh, he's, a, he's a big fella. He's almost throwing down into that treble 20, Six. isn't he? But even so, it's not one of those sort of floated darts in, like Barney. Yeah. He does throw them. 87. January Guar, 120. This is a big visit. I remember him taking this out against Kim Hybrix in Leverkusen a couple of years ago. He needs a 60. Wow. Hendo all weekend. He, he won in the first round with a, a 142 checkout to win. He had a 140 and a 160 against Max Hopp. He's not looked likely so far in this one. Yeah, and he's pushed play. to the brink Adrian. of defeat. Five to, throw two to Adrian on. Lewis, and we've seen big performances so far. Gerwin Price was, I thought, more impressive than his average suggested, his average of 94-95 in beating Jamie Hughes. Rob Cross, very impressive. His average only at a 101-102 at the end, but for most of the game, it was closer to 110. Here, Hendo is averaging more, but he's never felt like he's really... In the game, because you look at the finishing stats here, John Henderson has had eight darts at double. Adrian Lewis has held almost twice as many. 100. It's funny when you said Hendo all weekend. It just didn't fit. I was waiting for you to say Hendo all, all weekend. weekend oh. Yeah. Well, look, we, we all live in hope that the big Hendo weekend takes place at some point. And the way he's played this year so far, John Henderson, there is a chance he can go and pick up a title. He'll be there in Barnsley midweek. And it might be one that the likes of Van Gerwen skip and maybe some of the players who are playing in next week's European 100. Tour also decide to give a miss. I think it's confirmed that Van Gerwen's not going to be there as well as Ben Sosulovic. So that presents an opportunity to a lot of players who want to get a leg up on their season, including John Henderson. Well, it's just the 58. There is a chance that this ends here and now. But it's not going to. Hendo's going to have one of the... Again, it's that blocker dart that he smashed into, isn't he? And now he decides to move a little bit left or right. Or maybe be ball, surely. 65. It was always going to be the shot with two small 20s. 67. Uh, six hey, darts from 161 and Hendo's still on 56 and that might be that because Jack Potts could go double-double. Oh, he thought about it. Changed his mind. 75. Got the match dart but couldn't pin it. Shaking his head 56. on that dart at treble 17. Hendo gets this, we can talk about it. He needs to hit tops, does Big John. Tens. Yeah, a good there. grimace from the big man. He Nine gets the job done, Asian but that shot at treble 17 was a great example of what I was talking about with that dart. It just seems to dive at the end. I think that maybe 41. that big flight that he's got in sometimes lets the dart hang too much. And because the, the weight of his setup is predominantly to the front, it's got quite a heavy dart. A big flight at the end. The way he loops this thing it dives at the end. It has a very upright angle. That's a great dart. But that one dived at the end. Oh, he does. He massive mitt. Jackpot does seem to hold it quite far back on the dart. Compared to, say, Hendo, who's holding it towards the, the nub of the dart near the point. 43. Yeah. But Jackpot does seem to hold it at the back, which you kind of think. There you go. He's got a finger near the front, but a lot of the, the strength of that grip is back towards where the stem is. 82. And it's almost sort of 
arcing it, looping it in, and you can see the nose sort of dart, which is how you get the darts to stick up like that. Yeah, when John's darts leave his hand, it come the point goes directly out, whereas with Adrian Lewis, the point when it leaves his hand, it climbs mm. towards the ceiling, then it corrects itself in the air. It's very similar to what Dave Chisnell does. That's why they're big scorers. And if you saw it in slow motion, you'd see the point climb towards the ceiling and then it would come back down towards the board. Whereas John's... Skids into the board almost, yeah. doesn't it? John's go directly in a rainbow-style arc. There's no oh, point claim cool. at the start. Well, Hendo's given himself a chance to break the Lewis throw here. And this hasn't been a particularly hey, strong point of his game today, Adrian Lewis. The setup shots from places like that. All right, he's left himself a two-darter. Chance. Chance not taken. Really wanted that shot at double 12. It's all in the hands of Jackpot to get this done. Another low one on treble 20 will lead to two at double top. That's what we've got. But again, double top, double top doesn't work for him. John's getting chances now. He's being allowed into the game. Given more doable chances. Tops. Eight. Well, it's just not really working for either man forward. here, is it? We had John Henderson coming into this off the back of two very solid displays. Adrian Lewis having a very solid year. But this has not ignited. But he doesn't job. stop Adrian Lewis getting Adrian the job Lewis. done. Once again, it was not particularly impressive the first two darts, but not a scintilla of panic from John.